instead of uh, a downpipe, you just have this tiny little um, piece of old clothesline. And it comes through a small hole here and into the greenhouse. Rain has stopped now, <clears throat> but there's still a bit of water dripping off the roof. And it goes down a little piece of uh, old clothesline. And it goes through a little hole here into the greenhouse. And I usually have it dripping into the barrel or into the, um, the planter here. But uh, just to show you, it's kind of deceptive because uh, lots of times you don't, uh, it'll be running away and you don't even see, you just know because your barrel is filling up. Heavy rain on my greenhouse right now, and here's the water dripping down the, uh, the green uh, piece of clothesline. And most of it swings around the corner and into this uh, little barrel. And I'll just show you how much rain comes in. So quite a bit. And uh, yeah. It's the reason I put this little thing in is because it takes less space than, uh, than a, um, a downspout, plus it um, goes around curves. Half of our rainfall is supposed to fall today for June, so um, my greenhouse is, well, this is a, a kind of a peak in the rain, but my greenhouse um, gutter system isn't really handling this. It's, uh, it's taking, I don't know, maybe half of it, but you can see how much rain is coming down this little tube. This is just a piece of wire from the clothesline. So, it's quite a bit of rain coming down the wire and into the little barrel. And so there you go. Let's see. It even goes around your fingers. Okay, there we go. So, it does work. Um, I'm not sure what percentage it's taking. I don't know, maybe 80% maybe of the rain is coming down this thing right now. And normally it takes it all and it goes into the barrel then. And my overflow from the barrel goes in here. 